Alright, so hello. So today I'm going to do a video. It's not really a thing on booktube right now, but Mara from Books Like Whoa did it this week or last week on her channel. Basically a wish list of books that I would like to get, but it's more like a fantasy book shopping spree. In her video she chose to have a $1,000 budget. So if she had $1,000, what books she would buy? I feel like my reading taste is not as expensive as hers, so my budget is $400. So today I'm going to talk about books I would buy if I have $400. For the most part, some of the books I'm like, yeah, I might buy that at some point or ask like someone to buy them for me because they're like kinda expensive. But there are a few books that I would like to have, but every time I look at price, I'm just like, no, there's no way. <laughs> like, I I definitely wouldn't buy it for myself, and I would actually feel bad asking someone to buy a book for me for that kind of money. So there are, there's a few things that I'm like, it's not gonna happen, but I think it's going to be interesting. And last disclaimer before we start, I mostly buy pap paperbacks, I find them more comfortable to read. So the prices here might not be like very high for you, but they are kind of high for me. Basically, the highest I would personally pay for a paperback would be about $15. So I think the cheapest book on this on my list, I have a laptop over here, is $16. So like uh, we're going from $16 and up. I have three categories. Um, I'm going to look at the prices here. Oh. <laughs> Actually, less disclaimer, I'm going to talk about uh, regular pl prices for those books, so not including the prices when they're on sale. Because I I'll be looking at the prices at Book Depository, because that's mostly where I buy the books my books from. But yeah, since it, the price kind of varies a lot, I'm going to include like regular prices for those books. But you can definitely buy them on sale for cheaper. So we have three categories of books. The first category is specific editions I would like to own. So they're not, most of them are not necessarily expensive, but I definitely could buy them for cheaper, but I want a specific edition that's a little bit more expensive. I guess let's start with the cheapest ones. So uh, I'm going to put the exact editions I would like to own on the screen. So the first book is The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway. It is $16 and it is in the edition from Simon & Schuster, that's the first one. Next we have The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. I have never let me go in this edition and I just really like those editions. I like the quality of the paperback and I like the cover, so that's also $16. Oh, actually, <laughs> one last disclaimer, I will be rounding the prices up or down, so if it's $15.99 I'm going to write $16 on the screen. So this edition of The Remains of the Day is from Random House USA. Next we have uh, We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. This black and white cover with this really, really interesting graphics. Um, it's from Penguin Books and yeah, it's $17. I really like this cover. I've been meaning to buy this book in this edition for like three or four years now. But it's always just so expensive, like $17, come on! And lastly, uh, when it comes to specific editions, we have two books from Persephone Classics. Or it's, what is it Persephone Classics or just Persephone Books? Okay, so first we have Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winfred Watson and it's $20. And the second one is Someone at a Distance by Dara Filippo and that is $24. <laughs> I really like those great editions because I know Miss Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day is also an edition that actually has like some kind of painting on the cover or there is some like graphics on the cover but I really like how like minimalist the grey covers are but they're so expensive. <laughs> I'd really like to have them. So the second category is books I already read but I would like to own because I probably like read them like as an ebook or borrowed from the library. So first we have The Other Bennett Sister by Janice Hedlow. Currently the paperback is not available actually. So when it comes to hardbacks, I'll put on the screen which edition I like the most. But it is exactly $28. <laughs> so there's that. I listened to it on audiobook and I just really enjoyed it. I gave it 4.5 4 stars. 
I talked about it quite a few times, it's a retelling from Mary Bennett's perspective, retelling of Pride and Prejudice from Mary's perspective. I would really recommend it. But yeah, $28, Jesus. Then we have a few plays. Those are not really expensive, but I'm just kind of like, I read them already. It's not a necessary purchase, but a purchase I would like to make. And that's free plays by Shakespeare. So we have Julius Caesar, As You Like It, and The Winter's Tale, all in the Oxford Words Classic Classics Edition. Uh, they're not very expensive, I really like those editions. They're about $11 each, so that would make, make it $33 for those free books. And lastly, so obviously I've read all of Jane Austen's books, all of her novels and I think all of her unfinished works too, and I, I own all of those, but I own them in Polish, so I would like to have a collection of Jane Austen books in English too, but I don't really like those, like uh, the, the most famous ones, the collection, I think it's vintage classics, kind of square ones with colorful covers. They're not very floppy, they're very like sturdy and it's hard to open them so it's it's not very easy to read them. And I would like to reread some of those books in the original language that they were written in. So I did some research and that's one of the purchases I'm like, this will never happen, this is just really just my fantasy. So I would like to have the complete novels of Jane Austen in the hardback edition by Everman's Library and personally I think I would like to have them because I'm not a huge fan of those editions I mean one, they're expensive, but I'm not a huge fan of those editions because I'm not a huge fan of the cover but underneath the death jacket I really actually like how they look, so <laughs> this might be controversial. Uh, I feel like all the dislikes in this video that I'm going to receive are going to happen because of that statement. If I ever like had the complete this like box set uh, of you know all of the books, I think I would actually take off the dust jackets and just like have them on my bookshelf like that, just without it, because I like how they look without the dust jacket. But <laughs> you know the whole collection of eight books, because like, wait, seven books? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven books, because like six novels and one book with all her unfinished work. That is exactly $157, <laughs> so, you know, it's it's nice to dream sometimes. <laughs> and the last category is expensive nonfiction slash, slash academic writing. So academic books and like textbooks are very expensive, so I am a little bit apprehensive when it comes to, you know, buying them. We have only three books. Uh, the first one I would really like to buy, but I don't know why it's so expensive. Stamped from the Beginning by Ibram X. Kendi. Yeah, the paperback is $20. Uh, I understand that it is quite long, and it's the other title is The T Definitive History of Racist Ideas in America, and it's like over 600 pages long. But Jesus Christ, $20 per paperback? So... Here's the thing, it is actually available on script, I checked, it is like 19 hours long, the audiobook, but since I feel like it might be a little bit dense, because, you know, it's definitive history of racist ideas, I feel like it's going to be a little bit more academic. I would like to own the physical copy, uh, because when it comes to like very dense academic text, how I like to approach them is to listen to the audiobook and look at the text at the same time. I find that I one enjoy it the most that way and also I feel like I can take away from the text the most if I read it that way. Does it make sense at all? I don't know. So that is something I would really like to buy quite soon. Next we have The Death and Life of Great American Cities by Jane Jacobs, was it? Yeah, Jane Jacobs. That edition is $26. I would really like to have it because I am really interested in big cities as kind of a part of my research for a book that I would like to write at some point, maybe. And this is kind of a classic. Uh, I don't know who Jane Jacobs was. Was she like a sociologist? Who is Jane Jacobs? Oh, okay. American-Canadian journalist, author and activist who influenced urban studies, sociology and economics. The Death and Life of Great American Cities was written in 
1961. And yeah, it's, it's just a classic when it comes to the kind of, I don't know, sociology, anthropology of city. So yeah, but it is expensive. Yeah, uh, aside from that, I think I'm going to buy The Triumph of the City, because I think it's also similar when it comes to themes. And lastly, this is actually the book that inspired this whole video, and that is History of the Theatre, Pearson New International Edition, written by Oscar Brockett and Franklin Hildy. This sounds so random, but I am very much interested in theatre, and the history of the theatre I find fascinating. And this is, uh, when you look at the description of his book, it is described as the Bible of theatre history, but it is so expensive, it is $71. When will I ever like look at that price and be like, yeah, I can justify that pur purchase? No, never. This will never happen. So I need to find like a very rich relative that won't be completely outraged after looking at the price <laughs> because I really, really, really would like to own it. But seventy-one dollars? Why? Ah. <sighs> One day, maybe. So yeah, that's everything. If I counted everything correctly, it should be around $400. The first time I counted it, it said $400 exactly, but I'm going to count it again, and we'll see if I was right. Okay, so that was a fun video to make. Probably half of those books I will probably never buy myself, because Jesus Christ, books can be expensive. But yeah, that's everything, and see you next time. Bye!